In our worldview today, Secretary of State Antony Blinken reaffirmed U.S. support for Ukraine in the face of increased tensions with Russia. In his first visit to the country, Blinken reiterated Washington's commitment to Ukraine's, quote, sovereignty, territorial integrity, and independence. The visit comes as Ukraine sees increased hostilities in its border with Russia. More than 30 soldiers have been killed so far this year. And while Russia is denied having any troops on the ground, it has fueled tensions by conducting large-scale military exercises exercises near the border. Ukraine has called for increased military aid and support from NATO members. Voters in Scotland are weighing the country's future in the UK in a parliamentary election that could build momentum for another referendum on independence. Voters are specifically casting ballots to elect 129 members in parliament, but a strong showing for pro-independence parties could tip the scale for a second referendum to leave the UK. A majority of voters opted to preserve the union back in 2014, but Brexit has shifted that sentiment. An overwhelming majority of Scottish voters opposed leaving the EU back in 2016, but they were ultimately outnumbered by voters in England and Wales renewing calls for independence. And China is accusing G7 nations of meddling in internal affairs. The foreign ministry responded to a statement released by G7 countries calling for greater engagement with Taiwan. That statement warned China against escalating cross-strait tensions and also called for Taiwan to participate in World Health Organization forums and the World Health Assembly. Beijing claims sovereignty over Taiwan and said the statement goes against the one China principle. Tensions between China and Taiwan have increased in recent months as Beijing steps up military exercises around the island.